So today, I'm going to talk about ghost notes. Okay? So, what are ghost notes? They're simply notes that are quieter than regular and accident notes. You know, they're notes that are quiet. So, right? So, when you're playing a groove, all those little The notes that aren't accented, okay? And the notes that are accented are in 4 4 would be like 2 and 4 on the snare. Okay, and basically 1 and 3 on the bass drum, right? That's the main, that's, that's the groove, that's the main groove. That's our template, okay? That's what we go off of. That's, that's the main beats in the music, the quarter notes, right? So we don't want to put ghost notes on those, because if we do, this is what it's going to sound like. It's pretty much like if you're in a movie and a climax comes or something and somebody just turns the TV off. You know, that's pretty much what that's like. That's a musical um, disappointment. We want to hear those accented notes accented, okay? So, long story short, the ghost notes are in the E and the uh subdivision. So, E would be like money. Okay, so that was putting on the E. Okay, so it'd be like a one E and pattern. Okay, then you have one and up. Now you don't want to do this for the first beat because it's going to end up being. that so um, since two is the, the accented beat it would be a two after the one so what you do is you skip one and you can do it on two okay so that's that's the uh pattern you hear that all the time. Maybe sometimes it's not ghost noted. Okay, so I like the bottom line is I like to tell my students there's there's four different types of hits on a snare. Well, there's more than that, but you know when you're playing a groove or something, you got your ghost notes. Okay, you got your normal hits. You got your accented hits. You got your shots. So that's the that's the levels of drums right there. So if you have the the both extremes where you have one you're playing ghost notes and one you're playing shots, it's gonna be really dynamic. Check it out. Add in the accent tap pattern on the hi hat, it makes it even better. Okay, if you add in some swashy hi hats every now and then. have Chad Smith, okay? I'm not hating on Chad Smith, but you know, he's a groove player. He's all about the ghost notes. All about the ghost notes. So, the first pattern is the E pattern. Okay, one E and. And the next pattern is the up pattern. One, up, one, up, one, up. Okay, if you put that together, one E and up, right? That'd be 16s. So basically, 
basically all I'm doing is I'm using those patterns and I'm putting the E's and the U's in there for the ghost notes and sometimes I'm diddling. Okay, diddle, right? I'm guessing if you're watching a video on ghost notes you know how to diddle, okay? Um, so a diddle, if you diddle the ghost, you get what people do a lot, which is the diddle one, which would be like a drag, diddle out. Between the hands and the feet. So that's that really popular diddle kind of ghost note thing. Okay. Um, you know, it's really popular to do that. And then it's really popular to do the diddle, ha ha, and then back to a ghost note. That's really popular. So yeah, those are a couple little patterns you can do. The one and, okay, the one and up. Just remember, ghost notes aren't on accented hits, okay? Ghost notes aren't on accented hits. They're on the E's and the U's most of the time. And the cool thing you can do is you can diddle them. Okay? And then that really popular diddle, hi-hat, ghost note pattern. Like that.